ChatGPT Canvas, a new AI-powered writing studio, got upgraded. Transform your writing process forever. Imagine tomorrow no more writing blocks, code debugged automatically, perfect grammar and style in every document. Previously, we need to spend hours debugging, multiple tools to write and edit, constant context switching. But now, it's instant code fixes, all-in-one writing environment, and seamless workflow. It got powerful coding features such as real-time code review and suggestions, one-click bug fixing and debugging, automatic code comments generation, instant language conversion, build-in Python code execution. That is a game changer. It has smart writing features such as context-aware editing suggestions, adjustable reading levels, dynamic content length adjustment, one-click grammar and style polish, inline improvement suggestions. That is the latest upgrade from OpenAI Canvas. We are going to see about various tools it contains, create code in Canvas, write articles, suggesting for edits, content review and approve, and much more. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Open chatgpt.com and now you have tools in the chat window. So click on view tools and you should be able to see the picture tool, search tool, reason tool and canvas tool. Picture tool is same as before. It's able to generate image based on the question we ask and you can see the image here. Next is the search tool. Search for any news and then it goes through the web and give us the search results. Next, reason tool mainly helps us to reason before answering the question. So how many words are in your next response? You can see the thought process here, exactly eight words. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's correct. Finally, the canvas feature. So clicking on that in canvas, first we are going to see about the coding features. Use random data and plot all possible graphs. Now it automatically opened the canvas window and you can see it started writing the code. And here is a suggestion where I can run the code after it's completed. So that's all done now. So I can just click run and here is the output. First it's printing the values, line graph, scatter plot, bar plot, histogram, box plot, heat map, pie chart, and that's it. Even if I want to make any specific change, let's say I want more amount of data I can just ask ChatGPT, add more data. Now based on that, it's modifying the code and it's going through line by line. Now going to run. Now it got more data compared to the previous one. That is really nice. You can go back to previous changes by clicking the show changes button and you can identify the list of code changes. Even if I want to revert, I can just click the previous version and it's going to revert the version. Here it says you are viewing a previous version. I can just say restore this version. Now it's same as before. At the right bottom corner, you got code review, port to language, fix bugs, add logs, and add comments. So I can just say code review, and it's going to review the code and give suggestions like this. So I can click the suggestion and click apply to make this change. Consider making the seed value configurable or documenting its purpose for reproducibility. Clicking apply, and now it's making those changes. And the first part is fixed and we got a few more comments on what we could modify. So if you want to apply, you can just click apply. Also, you got other options such as port to language, clicking on that, just saying to JavaScript and clicking send. Now it's writing in JavaScript, but the thing is that it doesn't have the run feature. Only the Python code writing has the run feature. If I want to go to the previous Python version, I can just click this and it will go to the Python version. You can also fix bugs if anything happens in line. You can add logs and you can add comments. Now it's adding comments. That is really nice. Next, we are going to choose Canvas for writing an article about AI. Now immediately you can see there is an icon like this open in Canvas. I can just click this. But by default, it automatically opens. So here is the article. Now you can make inline modification. So I can just say drawback of AI. I can just choose that. I can make changes like this and choose heading two and ask ChatGPT write a paragraph on this. Now it's making those necessary changes and it's done. The key feature I see here is like at the bottom corner, you can see suggest edits. So I'm going to click that. 
now it's going to review the whole page and it's going to give me suggestion on what to edit. It seemed like we use our Word document and give comments. So I'm just clicking that and you can see loads of recommendation. One of the recommendations is that consider rephrasing to make this opening sentence more specific. So I'm going to click apply and it's going to make the necessary changes. Similarly, I can apply for others as well. That is really nice. I can even say review it as a research scientist. So now it's reviewing it as a scientist. But one thing to note is that sometimes it won't work. For example, previously I asked review it as a scientist and it reviewed and gave me suggestions only in this left hand side. But after that, I asked review it as a scientist on the canvas. Then it worked on the right hand side. Just that you know. Similarly, you got other options such as adjusting the length, reading level like high school, middle school, kindergarten. It's going to keep current level, adjust length, longer, longest, shorter and shortest. Then add emojis. It gives various options. I'm going to choose in the beginning of each section. Now it's adding emoji for each paragraph. That is really nice. Trying within words and now it's within words. That's really nice and adding final polish. Overall, I'm really impressed with this. Considering you are able to do all this right from your browser and for any quick coding or quick writing, you should be able to get started using this. Considering you already like Canvas, I've also created another video about OpenAI ChatGPT Canvas, which I'll put that link in the description below. It's just for beginners. So you can just click the link and I highly recommend for you to watch that. And I will see you there.